the White House press secretary, you could forget that because she never gave a formal briefing to the press during those eight months. But this is someone who was there from the beginning. Some people have dipped into the Trump orbit, come out and tried to claim some of the glow off that or write a book off of it. She was there from 2015 right through January 6th. She saw all of it. She participated in all of it. So what do you make of this book, why she's doing it, and some of the content of the book? Do you believe it? Yeah, Stephanie Grisham, during the 2015-2016 campaign, she was no, was what is known as a press wrangler, meaning the campaign staffer who would stay with the traveling press corps, myself included, as we went from city to city, rally to rally. So she was there every single day. She saw every single speech. Uh, and then once Donald Trump was elected, uh, she moved over to the First Lady's office for a time. It became very, uh, very loyal and close to the, to the former First Lady Melania Trump, which is why mm -hmm. some in the Trump orbit have reacted so strongly to this book, because uh, it is not very flattering portrayal of the former First Lady. Then she moved over to the press secretary, as you said, never took a single question, never held a formal briefing, uh, and then eventually moved back to the First Lady's office. Uh, you know, a lot of these books written from Trump era advisors are certainly about reputation salvaging, of course. Look, everyone, the authors get paid. There's that, too. It's also maybe reflective of concerns about her future employment history uh, being so closely aligned uh, to the to the Trump uh, team. Uh, and I'm sure for some, it's perhaps a guilty conscience. And maybe that's perhaps what we're seeing at play here uh, as well. I should note two things, though. That Putin moment that she describes in the book, it wasn't like President Trump was tough with Vladimir Putin. I was at that summit. He kind of mockingly waved his finger at Putin and said, don't interfere in our elections. And like, it was clearly a joke. That came across as tough. Uh, you know, and certainly behind the scenes, we know he was even uh, friendlier to his Russian counterpart. Uh, but I also wanted to share one other detail uh, from the book that I found uh, extraordinary. Uh, she writes that there is a Trump aide in the White House who was designated as the music man to play him his favorite show tunes, including Memory from Cats. Mm. And they would play oh those songs when the president was in a bit of a rage and the music was meant to calm him down. Wow, the cat wow. soundtrack to soothe the President of the United yes. States. Jim Van yeah. Eyder.